For nearly half a century, Voyager 1 has been traveling farther than any human-made object in history. Quietly drifting beyond the reach of the sun and into a region we once believed was almost empty. Built in the 1970s, designed for a mission that was never meant to last more than a few years, this fragile machine is still talking to us after more than 45 years in space. And what it is telling scientists now is deeply unsettling. Voyager 1 has reached a boundary no spacecraft was ever meant to study directly. And the data coming back does not fully match our models, our predictions, or our expectations. Tonight, we uncover what Voyager 1 discovered, why scientists describe it as impossible, and how this single probe is forcing us to rethink the true nature of interstellar space. Voyager 1 is a spacecraft that should have died decades ago. It was born in an era of slide rules and room-sized computers. Memory was measured in kilobytes. Commands were stored on magnetic tape. NASA never imagined this probe would still be operating nearly half a century later, let alone delivering discoveries that challenge modern astrophysics. Voyager 1 was launched during a once in 176 years planetary alignment, allowing it to steal speed from the gravity of the giant planets like a stone skipping across invisible hands in space. That gravitational choreography carried Voyager past Jupiter and Saturn, revealing volcanoes erupting on Io, fractured ice on Europa, and a solar system far more active than anyone expected. But when its original mission ended, Voyager did not stop. It did not turn back. It kept going. Quietly, it transformed from a planetary explorer into something far more important, humanity's first true interstellar scout. For decades, scientists debated where the solar system truly ends. The heliosphere, a vast bubble inflated by the solar wind, was believed to form a clean boundary between the sun's domain and interstellar space. Models predicted a sharp transition, a clear line where solar influence stopped and the galaxy began. Voyager 1 was expected to detect a dramatic shift in magnetic field direction the moment it crossed that line. Instead, something deeply confusing happened. As Voyager approached the heliopause, plasma density suddenly increased nearly 80-fold, a clear signal that it had entered a new region of space. But the magnetic field refused to behave. Its direction remained strangely aligned with the sun's field when theory said it should have twisted sharply to match the galaxy's magnetic orientation. This was not a small error. It meant the boundary between our solar system and the galaxy was not a clean edge at all. It was layered, tangled, and far more complex than anyone had imagined. This is where Voyager 1 made its so-called impossible discovery. The heliopause behaves less like a wall and more like a turbulent shoreline. Solar and interstellar forces do not separate cleanly. They mix. Magnetic fields fold into one another. Charged particles swirl unpredictably. Voyager did not step into a new environment all at once. It drifted through overlapping regions where solar influence lingered even as interstellar plasma dominated. Voyager 1 wasn't confirming theory. It was rewriting it. The boundary of our cosmic home is not static. Not symmetrical not stable. It is alive, shaped by motion, pressure, and chaos. This discovery carries consequences far beyond theory. If the heliosphere is porous and turbulent, then our solar system is far more exposed to galactic radiation than we believed. Voyager showed that cosmic rays penetrate deeper and interact more violently than expected. This matters because the heliosphere is Earth's shield. It protects every planet, every spacecraft, and every living thing here from the full violence of the galaxy. Voyager revealed that this shield breathes. It weakens. It shifts. And that realization changes everything, from long-term space travel to the odds of life surviving elsewhere in the universe. 
What truly unsettled scientists was not that Voyager entered interstellar space, but that it did so in a way no model predicted. Years later, Voyager 2 crossed the same boundary at nearly the same distance despite entirely different solar conditions. This shattered the idea that the heliosphere expands and contracts smoothly with the Sun's activity. Instead, Voyager revealed a system that resists prediction, where large-scale stability hides intense small-scale chaos. Scientists now describe the heliopause as a coastline between two oceans. Solar particles push outward. Interstellar matter pushes inward. The result is turbulence, folding magnetic fields, and constant motion. Voyager was not crossing a border. It was navigating a storm. Beyond the heliopause, cosmic radiation surged. Galactic cosmic rays became constant, not directional, confirming that interstellar space is saturated with high-energy particles capable of damaging electronics and biological tissue. Outside the sun's protection, there is no mercy. This suggests that life-friendly environments may be rarer not because planets are uncommon, but because effective cosmic shielding might be. Perhaps the most remarkable fact is that Voyager 1 is still teaching us anything at all. Built with technology millions of times weaker than modern devices, operating on fading power, the probe continues to reshape astrophysics. Many of the scientists analyzing its data today were not even born when it launched. Voyager has become a living time capsule, bridging generations and exposing how little we truly understand about the space beyond our sun. Voyager also revealed that the heliosphere is distorted, stretched by the sun's motion through the galaxy. The solar system is plowing through interstellar material like a ship through water, creating pressure on one side and turbulence on the other. The boundary is sculpted externally, not controlled from within. Magnetic fields, too, refused to obey theory. Instead of snapping cleanly from solar to galactic dominance, they drape, bend, and merge. Voyager exposed a universe where boundaries overlap instead of divide. Its instruments also showed that interstellar space is not uniform. Plasma densities fluctuate. Turbulence varies. The galaxy is alive with motion, shaped by ancient supernovae whose shockwaves still ripple through space millions of years later. Voyager is flying through the fossil remains of cosmic catastrophes older than Earth itself. What makes this discovery feel impossible is not that it breaks physics, but that it breaks assumptions. Voyager 1 proved that even our nearest cosmic environment is vastly more complex than we believed. Chaos and order coexist. Stability hides turbulence. And the edge of our solar system is not an ending, it is a beginning. After 45 years, Voyager 1 is no longer just an explorer. It is a lesson in endurance. In humility. In how little control humanity truly has beyond a certain distance. Signals now arrive as whispers. Commands take nearly a full day to reach it. Voyager operates largely alone, surviving in a region where human intervention is mostly an illusion. And yet, it continues. Right now, Voyager 1 is still out there, drifting deeper into the unknown, quietly rewriting everything we thought we knew about the edge of our cosmic home. The universe is not silent. Not empty. And not waiting for us. If you want to stay ahead of discoveries like this, make sure you're subscribed. Because the most important revelations don't arrive with explosions. They arrive as whispers, from a machine we sent decades ago, still listening where no one else has ever been.